Hi guys, Dan from KPS Digital Marketing here. The following video tutorial will show you exactly how to make awesome graphics online for free no matter what your skill level. I hope you enjoy. First of all, you need to go to a website called canva.com which is a great free online graphic design tool. Then, you need to sign in with your Facebook account, Google account or create your own username and password. Once you're in there, at the top, you can click on more on the right and then you'll see lots of different sized images that you can create from blog headers to Twitter posts, Facebook posts, lots of different ones. Pick the one you like or you can cre create your own custom sized uh, image which is what we're creating. This is the fun bit. There's lots of different things you can choose from on the left hand side. There's pre-made layouts. Click on the search bar. There's Halloween icons there because it's just been Halloween. You can click on them and they go into your image. You can change the size, rotate them and all sorts. There's grids here. You can insert one of these and make the image lots of different grids if you want to kind of use different imagery. There's frames. If you've got any images you like to use, you can use these frames and import an image. There's a an iPad frame which is great if you want to kind of create an iPad effect. There's lots of different shapes here. You can change the size, change the color, flip them. You can really do anything with this tool. There's some lines here. You can create lots of different lines. Um, that you can that I'm going to be using later. Then there's some really cool illustrations which you can click on, drag them in there, and then you can change them, flip them, change the size. It really is unbelievable what you can do with this. There's icons. I use lots of these really cool icons in a lot of my images. And there's free photos here as well, which you can drag in, which are great for creating a cool background. Finally, there's charts here. If you're creating an infographic, this is really really great to create those with lots of different you know um, graphs and icons. You can upload your own imagery, this is what I'm doing. So I click the upload and I've brought in an image there which I've previously got. Now I've just brought a, created a shape and made it the same colour as the desk and dragged it along. And then I've just created a line at the bottom to kind of imitate that desk because it's got a slightly darker line at the bottom there. And I'm just going to make it the same colour and then drag it along. It's a bit, bit fiddly this but you know it will make it look good if it's done correctly. And then I'm going to move it right to the back. You can move images to the front, to the back by clicking forward and backward to decide which image you want at the front or at the back or in the middle to create different kind of layers. Then I've just brought in another shape, just a square, made it a certain colour and put it right to the back to create kind of a split effect there. Now I'm going to bring in a logo, my logo. So I've uploaded this already. Um, you can upload loads of stuff there. I've used this quite a lot so I've got quite a few things there. But it really is great what you can upload here. There's my logo. Just put it in the middle. You get these really cool kind of dotted lines come up to tell you that the, the image you're using is right in the middle, which is very helpful. I've clicked on text on the left and I'm um, writing you know, what I want to write in here and you can change the style of the text. You can change the size of the text. You can literally change anything. There I'm changing the color. A bit of a different color there. And now I'm putting some more text in. The awesome graphics part. I like to use a, a font called Anton when I want text to really pop out. It's a great, great font there. And I'm making it white so it's very clear and people can see it. Because that's what I really want to pop out, the awesome graphics part. And then it's just really about formatting it. I've just copied that bit of text there. It saves a bit of time because it's already got the right formatting. Move it around. Change the size there. It. And it's starting to look good, it's starting to kind of come together. You can see that from starting from nothing, it's now kind of taking shape. There's, um, you know, you can kind of see what it's trying to portray the image. And just moving those last few bits around now. Copy again, copied some new text. And this is where I'm doing a cool effect where you can make a shadow. So you copy the text. You put the colour to black and then on the little arrow button you can choose transparency and I change the transparency to about 50%, 60% and then move it to behind the text, slightly down, slightly to the left and it makes a really cool shadow effect which you, you should all try out. The transparency feature is really cool because you can put you know, a block of colour um, and make it slightly transparent over an image and it looks really, really cool. Now I'm going to add in some social media icons to my graphic because this graphic is going at the top of my blog. So I want there to be my social media icons. So I've just brought them in there by the search bar, resizing them together so they're the same size. 
and then just placing them kind of where I want them and then I'm going to add my website just above there I always do this with my imagery to try and kind of keep it consistent consistency is really key if you're creating graphics you want your graphics to be consistent and that's why I always have the logo and then the four icons on the bottom with the website and that's that's it um, it's kind of finished now and you can change the name of the, do the document there and then click download and you can choose a JPEG or whatever file you want and that's all done Thanks for watching the full tutorial. If you do have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments box below. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to exclusive subscriber content with lots of great advice, tips, and extra resources, then please do click the subscribe button above and enter your email. Thank you.